Hey guys, Anthony here. This is one in a series of short videos with explained your tips. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to preview scenes in EVC 3.0. So I've already got a project file open here with a few scenes up top. Now one way to preview a scene is to use this preview button right here. And you will notice that it plays only that particular scene and then it'll stop. You can use this loop preview checkbox right here to loop the preview continuously. And then you can use this button right here at the bottom to full screen the preview and press the escape key to get out of it. A second way to preview a scene is to use these buttons right here, the play, pause and stop. However, this one works a bit different from the one that I just showed you. First of all, you'll notice that if I click the play button here, it does not play. So you have to first hit the stop button to reset it, and then hit the play button. So one important thing to note when using this preview option is that the preview that you see is not the full scene preview. So let me preview that again and just see if you noticed something that was missing. Did you catch that? So let me play the scene preview now and you'll see that the hand sketch happens first and then the rest of the animation. Whereas if I play this one here, it only plays part of the scene. And this is because it plays only specific elements that are selected on the timeline. So let me just open the timeline and you will notice that there are three elements here and the first element is one full bar, the second and third elements they start later and currently as you can see the third element is selected. So you'll notice that when I preview this it looks as if it plays everything but if you watch this section right here, you will notice that when I click on this element here, it'll play the preview and it plays the preview from here to here because it's playing that specific element or any elements in that path. So essentially what it's doing is when I hit this element, it plays from here to here. Just watch this. So similarly, if I click this first element, you will notice that it plays only the full element and not this part here. Just watch the preview. As you can see, the sketch plays here and then it gets stuck because it hasn't played the rest of the preview here. Anyway, hope that makes sense, but I find that pretty helpful because when you click on a specific element, it plays the preview only for that specific element. And in that sense, you don't have to watch the full scene or the full video. So the first two ways of previewing scenes that I just showed you play only that particular scene or individual selected element. But if you want to play all the scenes in the entire video, you would click on this preview button right up top in the menu bar. So now if I hit that preview button, you will see that it plays, this is the first scene that it's playing, and once this is done, this is now the second scene, and so on and so forth. Well, hope you found this useful. Look for more short videos and explain your tips. Thanks for watching.